In people who have an active opioid use disorder, we need to be able to tell the difference between when someone is really high versus when they have actually overdosed. If someone is really high, the person may have very small pupils, they may look like they may nod out, they may scratch a lot because their skin's very itchy, they may have slurred speech, or they may seem out of it, but they'll wake up if someone yells loudly, or if they shake them lightly. You could try yelling, I'm going to give you naloxone, or I'm going to give you Narcan. Most people who are just very high will not want that because it will cause them to go into withdrawal. Finally, you could try doing a sternal rub, which is rubbing the four knuckles of one of your hands against the sternum, which is where your ribs t come together in your chest. Um, you would have to do this if you were trying to see if somebody else was overdosing to try to wake them up or revive them. Uh, if someone is wearing a heavy coat or a lot of clothing over them, you could try rubbing those same four knuckles over the top of their lips, which would also cause an uncomfortable feeling and wake up the person. If the person does wake up, stay with them. Continue monitoring them, especially their breathing and their pulse. Try to keep them awake and alert. If none of those options work, then the person is actually having an overdose. So a person who has just overdosed on opioids may be unconscious and not wake up to yelling or shaking. They may be very limp in their arms and their legs. They may have pale or clammy skin. They're likely to have bluish lips or fingernails. Uh, they might not be breathing at all or be breathing very slowly. And they may be choking or making a gurgling noise. Some people call this the death rattle or the death snore. And they may have a very slow or a very faint pulse.